Hi, this is David Papkin with TSI Consulting Services. Welcome back to Upgrading Your Skills to Windows Server 2016. In my last video demo, Implementing AD Federated Services. This video is a continuation, Implementing Web Application Proxy. It assumes that you already have ADFS installed. So the first thing I'm going to do is install Web Application Proxy on Server 3. Now I am on server 3 here. I'm going to log in and then I will install web application proxy on here. So of course on this one, I'm going to add roles and features. On then server 3. I'm going to go to remote access. Web Application Proxy. Add Features. Next. Install. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the certificate to London Server 3. So I'm going on to Server 2. And MNC, then I'm going to add a snap in. On computer account. And on this one right here, local computer, finish, OK. Now I'm going to do is just expand the certificates local computer, personal certificates. Then I'm going to do is this. I'm going to export it. And I am going to export the private key. Be very careful exporting the private key. Because remember, the private key is private. So if someone gets the private key, you're compromised. The public key, obviously, is what you give out to people, right? This. Now, on this one right here, on the export format, I'm going to leave the default. Now, on the security. I'm going to use password. This will be very useful. Now the file name, I'm going to type in this. C colon backslash ADFS. ADFS type PFX. and finish. Okay, great. Now on London Server 3, MNC, I'm going to add certificates on this one right here. And on this one, computer account, local, OK. And I'm going to go to certificates, personal. I'm going to import.
London server two C dollar sign A DFS PFX password type in the password of course I'm going to just display mine on mine of course be very careful doing this next place it on the following stores personal and finish great and the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add the London Server 1 certificate to Server 3. I'm going to go to Server 1. Same thing. Certificates, add, computer account, next, local finish, okay. Export it. Export the private key, password. We should definitely try our best to be careful with this private key. T colon backslash London server one dot PFX. I'm going to go back now to server three on this import London server one. See if I got that right. It asked for the password, so it must be good. Marcus key is exportable. This will let you to back it up and transport it later. Next and finish. Great. So now as you can see, as I have both of them in there. On server three, I'm going to open the web application proxy wizard. Next, and the federation server is adfs.adatum.com. The username is adatum. Administrator, the password is password. Now the certificate to be used, ADFS at datum.com. I'm going to configure then. Now I've clicked on closed. Okay, and this one right here. And this one right here. There's no application. There's no uh, web apps published. I'm going to go publish. Welcome. Next. 80 federated services. Supported clients. Next. 
on this one I'm going to select a datum test app next now on this one right here I'm going to say a datum test app rule okay that's external URL which I've typed and on this one London server one external so this right here now on the back end URL London server one a datum com a datum test app remember make sure you have this slash here finish and publish and when it's all done I'm going to test okay I'm going to close it and finally I'm going to do is this I've config oh, I've configured the proxy and the next thing I'm going to do is test the web app proxy. I'm going to go to client three and I'm logging in as admin. Now I'm going to do is here. Notice this is not joined to the domain. This right here, file name. Okay, actually, what I want to do is this I want to run it as Notepad, otherwise, I won't be able to save it. File, open, and the name. So I'm logged on to client three and I want to make sure of course that I don't this okay the host file and what I'm going to do is this I'm going to simply add I'm going to add two more files to the end of it so I'm adding these turn here good Now in this one, I'm using the host to force CL3 to access the application through the web application proxy. In a production environment, of course, I could use split brain DNS. The IP address is for London Server 3, the web application proxy. Save it right here. Good. Now I'm going to do is this. Open Internet Explorer. Ignore the certificate error because it's self-signed. It's attempting single sign-on. On this one, I'm going to sign is as a datum. Beth. Hopefully I typed the password correctly. As you can see, the web application proxy did work for this right here. This concludes this demo about implementing web application proxy. This is David Papkin with TSI Consulting Services. Thank you for watching. And if you like my videos, please do is subscribe to my channel on YouTube forward slash C forward slash David Papkin. Thank you. Have a great day.